What you have just seen is a simulation of an accidental short circuit on parallel PER bus bars. A 100 amp intercell connector was just rested across the bars to simulate accidental use of tools. Varying effects may be seen and the dangers thereof are quite evident. Such short circuits can cause damage within the racks. Notice the heat marks and melted solder on this rack output current shunt. Damage caused by larger short circuits may in fact be limited by the output shunt fusing. The following simulates a 200 amp cable connected across the output of six racks in parallel. As thought, it looks as though all the output current shunts have fused. So let's go and have a look at the damage. This is the output shunt in the first rack and in the second rack. But as you can see here, there has also been some damage to the minor wiring close to the shunt. Similarly, all the other rack shunts had fused and some minor wiring damage had been caused. There is not any damage to the battery cables within the racks. So it would seem that the shunt is the weakest link in the chain, and that's what would go. Connecting racks together in reverse polarity also only blew the cable shunts. A number of fires have occurred in the field where PER battery cables have been accidentally shorted together or to the rack frame. The following sequences simulate the extent of such fires in both parallel and single PER installations. Okay, we have a fire. That's what we wanted to find out. Hang on. This incident was caused by shorting one set of battery cables together in a five parallel rack installation. Not all faults need be so spectacular. But can cause a lot of cable damage requiring a rack rewire. Other problems may occur if a cell is connected in reverse polarity. The cell may boil and blow out its vent valves. There is then the risk of a cell explosion as some of the gas given off is hydrogen. If not enough current is produced to burn the battery cable through, then the cell may steam until either a battery link is removed or if the cable is fused, an intercell connector is cut. In this case, the cell steamed for some five minutes only being disconnected by cutting through an intercell link. A large number of racks in parallel does not necessarily increase the fire risk. The cables can catch fire even with only one battery in circuit. This sequence shows the effect of differing numbers of parallel racks down to a single battery. The cable used is the same as that in standard PR. It is fire retardant, but loses its retardant properties when melted. In its molten state, it is easily ignited by sparks caused by short circuits, etc. The smoke and fumes given off by the cable insulation contains hydrochloric acid gas, which is corrosive. It can leak the plastics out of other PVC insulated cables and corrode other equipment in the room.
the main risk of any of these incidents occurring is during installation and maintenance when working parties may inadvertently short circuit battery cables and terminals. In fact, all reported fires so far have been during rack installation and have been due to incorrect working party procedures. One PR, uh, two batteries, and using the third set of battery leads to do the short. Thank you. 